about computer languages. Uh, okay, uh, you know that uh, there are many languages around the world. So, uh, as international student, international school students, uh, normally we can speak uh, two languages, uh, English and Sinhala. So, uh, how do you think uh, we communicate with the computer? Humans need a language like Hindi, Telugu, English or any other regional language or just a body gesture to tell things, express feelings and to communicate with others. So, as I told you earlier, we need any language to communicate with each other, with our friends, with teachers and with our parents. So, have you ever wondered how we talk to computers? Isn't it mysterious and exciting? So, uh, you know that we cannot speak with the computer with uh, any language. It means with the uh, Sinhala or uh, English language. Uh, so, uh, uh, so now uh, I am going to discuss with you what are computer languages. A computer cannot understand human languages directly. So we need a language to communicate with the computer. We develop several languages as a method of computer communications. So you know that we cannot uh, we cannot share our uh, feelings and express our ideas uh, with computer. So we need a special program or a special language uh, to communicate with computer. So the user of a computer must be able to communicate with it. User means us. So uh, the uh, user and the com uh, computer must be able to communicate with him. That means he must be able to give the computer commands and understand the output that the computer generates. Uh, you know uh, that the computer, the main thing computer uh, doing is uh, we are uh, giving the uh, inputs or the instructions or the commands to the computer and uh, the computer process it and give the output. So to give the output, the computer need a, a special language to understand the things the user giving uh, as an input. So, uh, this is possible due to the invention of computer languages. A computer language is a group of instructions that are used to create computer programs. This is the brief of computer languages. The main goal is to achieve human computer interaction. Uh, when we take the language, uh, the main goal of a language is to uh, communicate with each other. Uh, so, in the computer also, these computer languages is very important to uh, share ideas with computer and user. So, the main goal of the computer is uh, achieve human computer interaction. So, uh, there are main two, type, uh, two types of computer languages. The first one is low level language. So uh, as uh, I know that uh, you have learned uh, many things about these uh, topics because uh, you did uh, ICT for the O level and also you are doing ICT for the A level also. So uh, low level com computer language includes only ones and zeros. Ones and zeros you know it's binary. Uh, this language was used in first and second generation computers. A low level, uh, low level language is very easily understood by a computer but hard to understand for humans. So you know that uh, when we are solving sums uh, in binary, uh, it is very hard to solve uh, because uh, it is very hard to the binary the 1 and 0 this language, low level language is very uh, hard to understand for the humans. Uh, so next, uh, computer language is high level language. High level computer languages 
are the advanced development languages in the evolution of computer language. Uh, and the keywords uh, used in high level languages are similar to English words and can be easily understood by humans when compared to a low level language. So no, I told you the low level language only consists with binary numbers 1 and 0. But in high level language, uh, the keywords used in high level language are similar to English words. So it is, uh, you know, the coding uh, English words. So it is easy, it is very hard to understand by the computer, but it is, it is very easy to understand for humans. Because we know, uh, we can speak and we know the English, but computer uh, need to convert this uh, language, English language, uh, to the uh, binary numbers. Uh, then uh, there is a chart. Uh, in there you can see computer language may be divided into two types as low level and high level. Low level language again divided into machine language and assembly language. So in there you can see uh, examples for machine language, zeros and ones. For the assembly language example, ADDA, sub, uh, VN, etc. And in the high level language example, C, C++, Java, Python, then uh, PHP, Pascal, uh, like that. Uh, programmers can also write computer programs and script in programming languages such as C, C++ and Java. However, a computer system cannot directly understand these languages, so there is a need for a program that can convert these computer programs to machine language. The compiler converts the programs to machine language which computer system can easily understand. So I told you earlier also, there is a, the, the computer need a special program to convert these binary numbers it means the low level language into high level language. The program which is convert these uh, by, uh, low level language to high level language is the compiler. So in here it has mentioned the compiler converts the programs to machine language uh, which computer systems can easily understand. So there is an example. Example of machine language for the text hello world. Mm, this is in the binary form. Uh, hello world, it is in the English form. Uh, so, English form in high level language. So, the computer convert uh, that word uh, using uh, compiler uh, to the machine language in this way and uh, they give the output. Mm. So, then uh, as there is continuous development in the programming language, from machine language to low level language to high level language, uh, the programmers get the maximum benefit as they don't have to write a complex program. So, uh, you saw that uh, there is a, uh, a very good and uh, continuous uh, development in uh, these uh, computer languages. So, humans can quickly write and understand uh, understand programs in this language. The only need is to convert it into machine language. So uh, uh, as programmers uh, and normally programmers uh, use this way. It means uh, they are giving the instructions to the computer in the high level language. Then the computer convert it into the uh, binary form and then uh, it give the, uh, gives the output. Then uh, this is the summary, you can see the summary uh, of this presentation. Learning about programming languages is extremely under, uh, interesting as it gives a way for the technology driven society we are living in today. Uh, programming languages have come a long way from early machine codes to human readable code that now leads our favorite technology. Computer programming will continue to evolve in the same way 
that it has for uh, for the past few years keep learning the computer languages and it will be exciting to watch what the future holds you know the uh, it te technology is uh, very developed today not developed it is developing in the future also the same so uh, learning about this uh, computer languages and also programming languages it is uh, very interesting so uh, uh, this is the end of my presentation uh, thank you for listening